applied for the academy because Louisiana, it's not a very sustainable place. There is no recycling um, in my school currently, and there's very little recycling that happens um, within East Baton Rouge Parish. It's just exposing my students to something that's very, very important for their future and something that they need to start taking a part in. Coming into it, I had no ex expectations really other than I knew I was going to be at ASU and I knew I was going to be learning a lot. And it has definitely been amazing here, so. Our administration opened up the opportunity and said that, hey, look, this is a, this looks like something up your alley. We've got a few sustainability projects en route. So we thought it'd be a good, a good opportunity to help us improve and kind of maybe hone in our skills and maybe uh, refine our projects a little bit more. I applied for the program because I'm really passionate about sustainability and green schools. One of our schools won the National Green School Award. So I saw some of the practices that they were using at the school. The students took responsibility for the campus. Students were measuring the energy that was being used. They were in charge of the recycling and they kind of ran the school and it was super cool to see. So I thought, how can I bring some of these practices back to my school? So the purpose of the Academy is to support teachers in getting sustainability curriculum, activities, actions, and projects into their schools. So we hope to not only impact the teachers that participate to think more about sustainability and sustainability in their schools, but to also change behaviors. We're not only creating teachers that are sustainability change agents, but the students will be sustainability change agents of the future. What we find is that most people think of sustainability as being about recycling or about discrete tasks that they can do to help protect the environment or conserve resources. And this week, we want to show teachers that it's more than that, that it involves not just uh, doing what's right for the environment, but also incorporating that lifestyle, incorporating those choices into a broader picture that includes social concerns and economic concerns. So the goals for the week are to first of all start off with what is sustainability and take a holistic approach that includes the environment, society, and economy. And then to think about how we can do sustainability in their schools. So we're going to provide them resources, tools, they're going to develop action plans, and they're going to go home with this set of knowledge and skills and this plan of action to implement sustainability in their schools and classrooms. The way that this has been organized has been outstanding. And just in the guest speakers alone, uh, we've learned a tremendous amount about real people in the real world doing these different things from making a garden out of a pool that is going to waste. And our speakers, uh, Rob and Aaron, extremely knowledgeable, helpful, uh, very gracious, and always willing to guide us as we go along. And so you put all that together and it's just been, it's been wonderful. What was the activity we did today where we, the value we had to give. The, the real life game? Yes. I think that would be great for the students because they have to wrap their head around, okay, this is how much money I have, this is how much I earn, this is how much time I have to invest in my way of life, but I still need these things to survive. So how am I gonna have that balance? So it's like taking what you know in sustainability and actually creating that balance in your own life. We can talk about it, you know, the three pillars, but to actually practice it for students, I think is rich. And there's been so much information that I learned. I'm, I'm going over my homework book right now and it's asking me to reflect on everything we did yesterday. And as a social studies teacher, that's something I can easily bring back and use in my classroom. And just thinking about city growth and uh, the using of resources and how all these different aspects of what we've been learning are related to society, to the environment, to economics. It's, uh, it's been really eye-opening. What surprised me this week is probably the vastness of sustainability and how many different ways you can be sustainable. I think when people think of sustainability, all they think of is recycling. But to be honest, it's, it's way, way more than that. It's, um, you know, water, reusing water in different ways. Um, it's the food you buy and where it comes from and what it's grown in. 
What's really impressive about these teachers is that they're so enthusiastic and so committed to what they're doing. And so we at the Walton Sustainability Solutions Initiative provide them with the tools and the resources and the skills and even some lesson plans to do sustainability in their schools. And then they come with the energy and the enthusiasm and they can really be successful at being leaders in sustainability with their energy and our resources and our programming. Oh, hands down, I would recommend the Academy to others. It's, it's been a phenomenal learning experience. You connect with other people who have the same passion as you do. And it's, it's a lot, of, it's fun at the same time. I would definitely recommend the Academy to others. It's been a wonderful experience and I've never had an experience like this before. It's a way for teachers to understand in a better way, a deeper way, what sustainability is and how it's applied all throughout our lives and community and our world and how to bring back to their classroom practical ways and activities that teachers can do at their school and in their community, school district, and so on to enhance our environment and create a legacy for future, our children's children to have a, a world that they can really enjoy and make it into what they want it to be. The National Sustainability Teachers Academy is an immersion into the idea or the function of sustainability being about more than one person, or one school, or one district, or one state, or one country. It's about us all being agents of change. I'm just extremely motivated to be an agent of change, both in my, my own home, my family, my classroom, my school. The ideas are just overflowing in my brain, and it's just it's hard to contain. I'm super excited. I'm stoked.